drop it. You don't eat those nuts. But anyways, yes, Facebook's acting up today. Uh, Centonio's interview would be, let me... We'll, oh, there he is. Can you hear me, San Antonio? Hey, What's man, up, so bro? we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. I, 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 I don't know what, what exactly exactly is going on. But uh, anyways, tell the people about yourself. Who, who are you? Who is Antonio? I'm just an old country boy trying to follow his dream. That's that's love doing something that he loved to do. Okay. I come from a small little city. So you're from the small town? I'm a country boy, small from Mississippi. Yeah, small little town. Small, everybody small town. Everybody know everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's usually how it is. Everybody can, folks. Okay, so um. And I just messed up, and I'm just trying to keep my opportunity. So you're from Mississippi. What uh, what brings you up to the Kentucky area? Football. I got in trouble, and I got in trouble at my uh, freshman year in high school. Well, my junior year in high school, and I got sent to alternative school. And I was like, since I can't play my senior year because I was in alternative school. So my uncle told me to come up to Kentucky, and I, I got to play, but it was only four games. So I was like, I just went downhill and graduated and never went to school. I went to JUCO and East Mississippi Community College, then try out. So I just like, I just went downhill for a couple of years. And then 2015, I finally got the opportunity to play some my pro football. First year being on the field within four four or five years, and it felt great. And I felt at that time that I still got it. And I felt that, like, it's a sign. I got true talent. I just got to find the right connect to brace my talent and put it out. But I could have had an easy ride, but I'm just glad God still gave me the opportunity to showcase my talent and try to provide myself to move on to the next and higher level. Definitely. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's great to hear. Uh, like we do have a few connections and we are able to uh, hopefully provide those people like yourselves a chance to play at the higher, higher level than, than, uh, than uh, just this indoor game. Uh, so like with, so like with all that being said, what is your greatest talents as a player? Like, what do you bring to the field that very few other people can? Man, I feel like I'm five for six, five, seven about a buck 75 buck 80 but what i bring to the table is momentum heightness baby to contribute to the game main fact not being a, a star player but at the concept of being a star player as coaches say i got the talent to be i'm a world player yeah my, my main thing to keep me from really going to succeed in my football dream is my attitude i work on that and keep it down and show my game and let my action talk and let my, my mouth stay closed, I got a chance. I feel like I really can make it. But that's going to be my main goal this year as the indoor season starts, just letting them see my talent and just keep my mouth closed to the end of the game and the clock to zero. Good, good. Uh, uh, what are three goals that you have for this upcoming year as a person, as a player, uh, just, just the three goals that you want to – uh, like uh, achieve. My third goal is this year I want to achieve as a team player and a player and a whatever as mainly lead my team as me being a captain for the first year my second year some uh, arena football as being a captain I want to be able to lead my team to a ring motivate my team my players my coaches and show them that I actually can be the man and help our team stay strong. Second goal is to at least score at least 25 to 30 touchdowns because I can't be touched. That's how I feel. Third goal, the third goal is just be the team player. Hopefully I don't get hurt the whole season. 
to contribute to the 25 to 30 touchdown. Okay, we will uh, definitely keep you uh, at those goals. Uh, um, anything you want to add just uh, as an individual, just coming from the South, uh, being, you know, raised in the South in a small town, uh, anything you want to tell those people like that are, that are a big fish in a small pond, just like yourself was? I mean, if you got the talent, man, I tell everybody, leave the guns alone, leave the fighting alone. I stay to myself because I feel like I'm the chosen one, but I just got to prove and get the connect to say that I'm a chosen one, get the opportunity to leave and do something for my family and help my mom and provide for my daughter. But, yeah, I mean, I tell everybody, if you got the talent, don't let it go to waste. Good words of advice there, man. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, definitely let you go. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Root for those Chiefs on Monday night because, you know, KC all day. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you at the tryouts on the 14th, man. Yep. All right, Have see you night. then, coach.